On this video, I'll be demonstrating response to signs and signals, and this is something that you will be doing throughout your part two test. I'm Jonathan from Boom Instructor Training, and I'm here to help PDIs and ADIs get the most out of being a driving instructor. Check out my online ADI training course, and you can buy all of the part two video lessons, which will massively help you prepare for the ADI part two test. Let's check out one of the video lessons from my online course on the category of response to signs and signals. Response to signs and signals. You should recognize and react correctly to signs and signals on the road. These include traffic signs, road markings, traffic lights, traffic controllers, and responding to signals from other road users. This is about looking, scanning and reading the road and having good awareness of your surroundings. If you have good awareness and planning skills, as described in the previous video, then you should see and respond to any signs and signals. Some obvious mistakes to avoid are not anticipating traffic lights changing and therefore breaking late, taking up space meant for cyclists when stopping at a red traffic light, not spotting the speed limit signs, not stopping at a compulsory stop sign, driving in a bus lane when signs say you shouldn't, and pulling up when signs are telling you that there's parking restrictions. Let's have a look at a few demonstrations. Response to signs and signals. So this is all about reading the road, actively looking for the traffic signs, road markings, traffic lights, signals by other road users. So as I'm turning, uh, emerging from the junction at this roundabout, I'm looking to see what traffic to the right's doing. Are, do they have any signals on? They don't at the moment, so I can assume that they're all going ahead. The vehicle to the left has got a signal on that will block the vehicle to the right. So effectively, I was responding to their signal. That was helping me uh, anticipate that it would be safe for me to emerge from the roundabout. Actively looking for the signs, 40 mile per hour speed limit sign, increase in the speed. So this is what this means. It's just reading the road, being fully aware of the information that you're being presented with. So here I can see a warning sign for a side road on the right. So that's useful information because as I go up this hill, I'm just going to have a little check to the rear and then a little glance into that side road. It's perfectly clear. That's great. Looking well ahead, well, I can see in the far distance that there is a warning sign for traffic light. So I can respond to that early now. I'm just going to start to check to the rear and I can see a change of speed limit. And I've, because I was looking and reading the road well ahead, I responded to that. I've got the speed down. I've got time to scan the crossing. I want to go ahead at the roundabout. Now I can't see any road markings. I'm just going to take my time. Let me read the road. What are the road markings telling me? Ah, right hand lane to go ahead. Now I'm going to be responding to other drivers signals if I can see any. Okay, yeah, he signaled to exit the roundabout so I know it's clear to go. So responding to the lights here. Okay, well they won't change. Now I have the cyclist. So check into the rear. Position. Ready to overtake the cyclist. Mirrors again. Signal on and then I've decided not to go. I've decided not to go. I'm going to play it safe. Mirrors, signal on now, accelerate hard. Sometimes you just have to get your toe down and build the speed up quickly. Side road on the right, warning sign. And I'm aware of that. I'm just going to have a little glance to the right. Okay, yeah, all clear. And then looking well ahead, I'm just responding to the traffic lights ahead. So I've looked into the far distance. I can see the traffic lights are on red. And I'm just responding to that really early. I'm off the gas early. I haven't even started to brake yet. <clears throat> 
I can see there's two lanes to go ahead. I'm happy just to keep left on this occasion. And then I'm bringing the car to a nice gradual stop behind this car, maintaining a, a nice separation distance, tires and tarmac. Um, as I as I stop here and then I want to be anticipating when I think the lights are likely to change so I'm ready to go but I'm also using this time to look well ahead I can see in the distance the road ahead has got a 40 mile per hour speed limit sign so I'm actively looking for the signs as I'm waiting here looking around to see if there's any activity for example pedestrians I can see some pedestrians right over there but there's none immediately in front of me glance to the right glance to the left even though the lights are on green I still want to check it's safe I'm aware that this road is a 40 mile per hour speed limit <clears throat> now in the far distance I can see traffic lights I'm looking so far ahead they're on red now they've changed to green that's great so I'm fully aware of what's happening could they change back to red possibly unlikely because they've only recently changed but I've just got my right foot over the brake pedestrians at the pedestrian refuge I'm just losing a little speed here and then I'm following the road ahead I'm looking ahead I can see black and white chevrons where the roundabout is I'm looking at the road markings looking at my lane options I'll just keep left Good observation I'm looking beyond the roundabout and I can see a speed limit change of 30 miles per hour so because I'm looking and planning well ahead I was aware of the speed limit change even before I dealt with the roundabout I can see there's deflection arrows on the road the two lanes are merging so I'll check to the rear and then looking well ahead I can see in the in the distance there is a warning sign for something I'm not sure what it is just yet but I'm aware of a warning sign oh a staggered junction okay so I've got a side road on the right followed by a side road on the left that's what that junction was indicating here it is look so little quick glance right and left I have the priority anyway and now I can see a 40 mile per hour speed limit sign so I'm actively looking I'm actively reading the road aware of all the different signs another warning sign on the left here that I can see it's a bit dirty what does that say another staggered junction coming up staggered uh, to the road on the left first little glance into that road little glance into the road on the right so I'm just fully aware and I'm, I'm looking so far ahead I can see the traffic lights on green at the moment so it's very possible that as I approach those lights they could change to red so I'm being prepared for that are there any pedestrians at the crossing I'm having a look around there is actually to the right so I'm not increasing the speed I'm being prepared to stop if the lights change and now I can see a warning sign for a roundabout so checking to the rear I'm checking out the road markings and let's see I think I can go ahead in this lane and now I'm responding to the signals of the cars what information are the signals giving me well I can see it's clear looking well ahead responding to the pedestrian crossing lights on green deflection arrows on the road two lanes merging so I'll respond to that by checking to the rear repeat a sign 40 miles per hour so I'll respond to that build the speed up and now I'm looking into the far distance I can see traffic lights on red before that though there is a warning sign telling me that there's a side road on the left I'm responding to the lights on red I'll follow the road ahead at these lights so I now need to look at the traffic signs road markings which lane do I need I'm looking at the arrows on the road I can see that I need yeah kind of the middle two lanes to go ahead so I'm fine in this position there is also a a get in lane sign on the left there just confirming that to me I don't want to get too close to the white car just in case they roll back because it's quite a steep hill so keeping the tires and tarmac lights on green so just because they're on green I still want to have a look so I'm having a little glance around before proceeding through the lights deflection arrows on the road two lanes are merging check behind see if I need to adjust my speed confirming the speed limit 40 mile per hour repeat a sign 
So that was a demonstration of the thought process that I go through, the level of observation, the level of awareness that I have in terms of uh, reading the road, looking for the the signs, the road markings, responding to lights. Here, look, I'm responding. I can see a 30 mile per hour sign. I'm going to follow the road ahead. I'm um, looking at the road markings. I can see I need the right hand lane here. So it just never stops. It, it's it, you're continually reading the road and providing you actively looking for the, the signs, the road markings, anticipating traffic lights, responding to all the driver's signals, looking and planning well ahead then you should be absolutely fine. Here, is it safe to keep left? Yeah, there's two lanes, it's safe to keep left. I'll keep left, the two lanes are merging, a deflection arrow on the road, checking behind, looking ahead, 40 mile per hour speed limit signs, it's safe to build the speed up to 40, so responding to that sign. So this is the level of awareness that you need. Now I'm verbalizing this, but you'd be going through this thought process, reading the road in your mind, but this is how your mind should be working. I'm responding here, look, a warning sign for lights, potential horses crossing, so I've got an equestrian crossing here. And then responding to the roundabout, I want to go ahead. I can see the lane markings, choice of two lanes, sensible speed, looking on approach. Round we go, good lane discipline, keeping in the left-hand lane, exiting. What's happening with the lanes? Looks like we've got two lanes. So I'll turn left at the roundabout. So the, I think you've got the, uh, the picture. That's how my thought process works when it comes to responding to signs and signals. I hope that's been uh, helpful. Providing on your part two test, I'm responding to that driver's signal. I can see they're turning left, so I could go see the national speed limit signs, deflection arrows on the road, two lanes emerging, there we go. So yeah, on your part two test, providing you have that same level of awareness in terms of responding to signs and signals, then you shouldn't have a problem because you are fully informed 100% of the time as to what is happening on the road that you're driving on. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and found it helpful and do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Liking and subscribing will encourage me to make more videos for you and it will also help other people find the channel. If you would like to train to become a driving instructor, check out boominstructortraining.com. There is a link to the website below. And if you would like to talk to me about becoming a driving instructor, feel free to get in touch with me through the website. Thanks for watching this video and do remember in the future when you're a driving instructor and you're teaching pupils, just keep it simple and enjoy it.